In this video, I'll show you how to clone a web application completely with AI using Copy Coder and Cursor. In this new version of Copy Coder that we just released today, you can actually upload multiple images of the application and then generate optimized prompts for each one. Then you can use Cursor Agent to build out the front end in probably less than 10 minutes and then even add a working user authentication into it using Superbase. Let me show you how. Okay, we're in Copy Coder here and the first thing we're going to do is hit New Project and on this page you can choose if you want to build a landing page or a web app, which are the two options we have right now. And I will, for this example, just choose a web app and click Next. And on this page, you can now upload the pages of the web app that you want to recreate. We're going to use Loom as the web app in this example. And I'm just going to navigate here to the home page of Loom. And on this home page, I'll just take a screenshot. And since this is a main page, I will be dragging this in here. And what it does now is it analyzes the additional pages in this application and will extract these now. So you can see the other pages. We have home, my library, meetings, watch later, history, and we have spaces there. So we can edit these pages as well. So I actually don't need the spaces page. And we do want to add the notifications page, which I think it missed. And we're also going to add a settings page. Okay, now what I can do is I will select the My Library page, go into the real My Library page of Loom here and take a screenshot of that. And I will put that in here into Copy Coder into the, yeah, to into the My Library page. And I'll do the same for the other pages. So meetings page, I will go and grab a screenshot of this, drag that in here. Uh, I'll leave the watch later page blank for now. I will upload also the notifications page, take a screenshot of this and upload it here. And for the other ones, I'll actually just say use AI to generate them. And this means that uh, we're going to use AI to, based on the context of this application, the AI is going to make a good guess of how this page should look like and what components should be inside of this page. Once we have that, we can click generate pages and it will start generating the prompts for these pages. Okay, the prompts are ready, as you can see here. So we have a way to set up these prompts and download them directly into cursor, which I'll show you in a bit. Here you can also see all of the prompts individually. So if we click open this main page here, we can actually see how much detail there is in this prompt for the main page. It has, you know, all of the components, the planning for the development uh, project structure, key features. So there's quite a lot of stuff in this prompt here. And it's the same for the other pages. And yeah, we're going to be just using this CLI command here. Copy that because that's actually the easiest way to get this now into cursor to develop this application. I'm going to switch here into cursor. I have an empty project here opened and I'll open up the terminal and just paste this CLI command and hit enter. And so what this did is it actually downloaded all of these prompts that you could see just now into my project here. And I can go and click through them and just verify that everything is there. And additionally, you'll see these two setup files. So one is like the regular setup file, which we'll be using to set up the Next.js project. And the other one is the auth setup file, which we'll be using later on. So now we're going to head here into the chat, make sure we have agent and Claude 3.5 sonnet selected, and we can just hit run setup. And so now this setup file will run through. We can just accept these terminal commands and then it will run through and set up the Next.js project for you. And you can think of the Next.js project basically as a skeleton, which we will be using to build on top of. Okay, it's set up. You can see here that all the file files are there. And now we can continue with the remaining um, pages and we're going to start with the main page here and just say run main page. Again, just accept and it will start building out the main page for us. Okay, the main page has finished and with this one prompt, we can now check we've generated uh, these pages here as well as these components and we can accept all and then we're just going to run this. 
and check it out. All right, there we go. So we have the home page ready. It looks pretty good already. Uh, we can definitely um, change a few small things, but this page already looks similar to uh, the original Loom page. The other pages don't work yet. We've only built out the home page so far, but now we will keep on building the other pages. So let's switch back into cursor and now I will build out the my library page. So we just type run my library and it's it's really easy. You have all of these prompts here. All you need to do is tag them and just say run. Okay, cool. My library page is done. We hit accept all and now we can build the next page, which is the meetings page. Cool. Meetings page done. We're going to hit accept all. And then let's continue with the watch later page. Okay, now let's run the history page, then the notifications page. And finally, we're going to build the settings page. Okay, and it's done. So let's check out the application now. So we have the home page here. We have the my library page, the meetings page, watch later, history notifications and the settings page. So this is amazing. We have everything here. And just by running the prompts, we have a very rich front end with all of the pages already filled out. And obviously, if you look at the original application, it's not a pixel perfect match. And that's also not the point of it. We want to help you get started really quickly. And if you compare, for example, the home page uh, here, it has the same elements and it has all of these things that you can then use and customize and uh, build on top of it what, whatever you want or whatever you want to form this application into. And you can direct it however you want. So if you like a particular style of settings page, then you don't have to take a screenshot of this settings page. You can find the design of a settings page that you like and drag that into copy coder and build that into your application. Okay, but building the front end is actually just the first part. And what we can also do is add a working user authentication into this app that integrates with Superbase. So we're going to do that next. I'll head back into cursor here, open a new chat, and then I will run the setup auth file. And then we just hit here to install the Superbase dependencies. So it will set up a middleware here to protect the pages. And now it's creating the sign-in page. Okay, it's done with the auth implementation. It's set up sign-up, sign-in pages and reset, reset password pages. And now all we need to do is we need to go and look at the env local file. And in here, let's accept all first. So in here, we have to place our Superbase project URL and anon key for this to work. So let's go into Superbase here. We open the dashboard and create a new project. Give it a name. Okay, once the project is created, we can scroll down here to get the URL and a non key and copy those over. All right, once they're in here, it's good to restart the server. And what we'll also want to do is to just go here into the settings of the email and we can just turn off confirmation and secure email exchange for now just to keep it simple so that we can test it easily. Okay, now let's open up the application. There we go. We have a sign-in page and let's go into the sign-up page to create a new user. Okay, we can see the text is a bit light, but we can fix that later. All right, so signed up with a user. Let's check if the user is actually here. Refresh this. And boom, there we go. The user has been created in Superbase. And now let's just verify if the sign-in works. Sign in. And boom, there we go. We're signed into this application. There's a little sign out button here. We can view all of the pages as the signed in user. Cool. All right, we have a working front end application that we can obviously enrich and add more on top of it. We have a working Superbase authentication 
with a Superbase project integrated, which means we can now easily build out the backend part of this application. And so you saw how easy it is to basically go from this reference application that we used here, take some screenshots, put them into Copy Coder, and get these optimized prompts to build out this application extremely fast. And it really just took us a couple of minutes to get to this state. And from here, we can continue building and build out a production-ready app much faster than we could without these tools. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.